It's time for a technological tune-up. These mechanics are leaving the grease and grime of petrol cars for the clean engines of the future. Definitely a lot more uh, complicated, uh, the electrical side of things. As electric vehicle sales soar to new heights, the service sector doesn't want to be left behind. The Tasmanian Automotive Chamber of Commerce designed this safety training course to upskill workers, because with great opportunity, comes great risk. We're dealing with systems that are, that are upward of towards 800 volts, so serious injury and, and in some cases electrocution are, are, are realities. It's not just for mechanics. Tow truck drivers, panel beaters and emergency responders are all learning how to disable batteries. The demand for electric vehicles continues to grow, but that puts dealers in a challenging situation. Traditionally, they make a lot of their money from servicing contracts, but these green engines require a lot less work compared to a petrol car. Some dealerships are already considering what new revenue streams could make up for the looming shortfall. We're going to have to if, if we want to stay in business. Um, electric cars are coming, it's the way of the future, and we, we're going to have to adapt to it, and pretty quickly. But others are reluctant to join the electrical revolution. Many of the mechanics that I've spoken to have said, hey, I'm in my 50s, why would I bother to learn that new stuff now? i got enough to keep me busy till I retire. So I think there's a degree of reticence just to change, and that's understandable. Ready or not, there's a clear appetite for electric. Lachlan Bennett, ABC News, Launceston.